what is going on guys welcome back to another swift video in today's video we're going to learn how you can bring swift ui into your existing ui kit applications so here's a app that we put together in ui kit we've got a view controller and one button on it and when we tap it we actually see this screen which is actually built and is coming from swift ui so what we're going to learn here is you know how you can interoperate between ui kit and swift ui which you know, it's a fairly important topic since most legacy apps are built with UI kit and we can't just go and rebuild everything to Swift UI. So if that all sounds good, make sure you start by destroying the like button. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, definitely hit subscribe for daily Swift content. That all said, let's get into the video. All right, we're going to begin by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We're going to stick with the app template under iOS and let's go ahead and call this project Swift UI in UI kit. We want to make sure our language is Swift, our lifecycle is UI kit, and our interface is storyboard. Go ahead and continue, save the project wherever you'd like. We'll toss it onto our desktop. And first things first, we are going to jump into our view controller. I'm going to go ahead and select a 12 Pro Max simulator. We'll hit the play button to build and run it. I'm also going to expand our Xcode window to give ourselves a little more room to work. And boom, there's our simulator. Now, now the whole purpose of this video is how to interrupt Swift UI views into UI Kit. So the next thing we need to go ahead and do is create a new file here. We're going to go ahead and search for Swift UI, and it's going to be a Swift UI view. Go ahead and call this. Let's call it settings screen. Frankly, you can call it whatever you want, but we're going to build a settings screen. On the right hand side, hit resume to load up your preview, just like that. There is our simulator. And we're going to create basically what looks like a navigation controller, but with Swift UI. So we're going to drop in a navigation view. We are also going to drop in inside of here a vertical stack. I'm going to give it a navigation title modifier. The title of this is going to be settings. Now inside of this vertical stack, we're just going to go ahead and uh, put some horizontal stacks with a uh, text label. And that'll be next to, you know, some toggle perhaps. So we'll go ahead here and actually instead of a text label, we could just use a toggle directly. Now that I think about it, we could say toggle here. We can go ahead and give this an is on of, uh, let's say is on. And then we can give it a label of, let's say, uh, is subscriber. We're gonna make this is on a state property. On this view, we're gonna make it false by default, just like that. And that'll go ahead and highlight that. And well, let's just go ahead and copy and paste this a few times. I'm going to go ahead and also wrap it inside of a form so we get a nicer UI. But you can go ahead and copy and paste it since the point of this video isn't really the actual setting screen. We'll paste it a total of three times and let's go ahead and leave it at that. We can go ahead and hit try again on our preview over here and you'll see your settings screen update in just a moment. Sometimes previews love to be finicky so just give it a few seconds. There we see our uh, label and our toggle and let's see what else we would need to do let's go ahead and add a spacer below this form so it pushes everything to the top just like that so cool we have this awesome looking screen in swift ui how the heck do we use it in our current application that we built with view controllers and ui kit well it's super simple actually the first thing we're going to do is uh, i like to import swift ui for the sake of knowing that we're interrupting swift ui here we want a button in our view controller and we tap on it. We want to go ahead and show that other Swift UI view. So I'm going to go ahead and create a very basic UI button here. We're going to give it a frame of, let's say, uh, 0, 0, 220 and 50. We are also going to, of course, add it as a sub view to the view controller's view. Let's go ahead and center this guy into the view. I'm also going to give it a title of show Swift UI, and this is going to be for the normal state. Let's also go ahead and give this a nice background color of system pink. 
and let's see, not indigo, we're gonna go with system pink. And finally, we wanna go ahead and do something, we tap on the button. So we'll say button, add target, self, and let's make sure we spell self correctly. Action will be a selector, and this is going to be did tap button, and the event will be touch up inside. Now we need to go ahead and create this function, did tap button, and this is where the magic happens of Swift UI interop. What we want to go ahead and do is pretty simple. We're going to create a view controller and it's going to be this thing called a UI hosting controller. And if you look at it, the description is a UI kit view controller that manages a Swift UI uh, view hierarchy. And that's exactly what we want to do. We're going to create this and we want to pass in a root view inside of this. And you guessed it, the root view is going to be that other view we created, which is called settings screen. So how do we create settings screen? Well, we just instantiate it. We just create settings screen just like that. And just like any other view controller, we can now say present VC animated true. So pretty simple, basically just as one line here. Let's go ahead and give this a run in a simulator. I hit command R there. And we should see a button in the middle of the screen, which in fact we do. We're going to hit this to say show Swift UI. And just like that, you can see that we actually get our other screen popping up. And from a user perspective, uh, there is no way where you can even tell that this is Swift UI and UI kit. The reason that when you turn one of these on, they all turn on is because we built it like that with one state property. But that's basically it. That's how you interop Swift UI and uh, UI kit view controllers. So uh, I think this is a pretty interesting and important topic, frankly, because a lot of legacy applications are still built with, you know, view controllers and UI kit. And if you want to dabble with Swift UI, you probably don't want to go and rebuild the whole app. And it's kind of a lot of work. So the takeaway here is really don't be afraid of using Swift UI and apps that are built in UI kit. Uh, Interoperating of the two kind of UI frameworks is pretty simple and pretty heavily encouraged even by Apple. So that's all I've got for you guys. If you enjoyed this video and haven't done so already, make sure you destroy the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't done that uh, already yet. If you're new to the channel, we post Swift videos daily. And of course, leave any comments with any questions, video suggestions, feedback. Love hearing from you guys, love replying. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next one.